Jesus Christ, our God and our Savior. He is a good God. Glorify Him because of His power and because of His grace. He is indeed a righteous God and we magnify Him. Now, I want to give these reasons and uh, why gabbering and betting is wrong and why it is sin according to the word of God. To those who want to see the kingdom of God, to, so, to those who want to enter heaven, to the Christianity, the true Christianity, the true bride of Christ, it is wrong for gambling and betting according to the word of God. And uh, I want to give a six, re six reason why it is wrong and uh, why it is wrong and why it is seen gambling and betting. And uh, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you may bless, the, bless this uh, sermon in Jesus' name. Bless uh, this uh, the word of God. Give us wisdom, knowledge that we may understand your will. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and breathe. Amen. Hallelujah. I have this, uh, the reason, the sixth reason why betting and gambling is wrong. Uh, the first thing, it is this, the love of the money. The Bible says about the love of the money. When you go betting, when you go gambling, you go betting because of the love of money. You go because you you have the love of the money in you. And that love of money you will make you to go to the betting uh, place, to the gambling uh, uh, place and the club to go and bet and go uh, and do all those things because of the love of the money. The Bible says that the loot of evil is the love, uh, that, the, uh, that the love of the money is the loot of all evil. In the book of, uh, of 1 Timothy 6.10, the Bible says that the, uh, uh, for the love of the money is the loot of all evil. Those who have have the love of the money in their life those who have the love of the money that thing it is the root of all evil that is that they go to bed they go to go uh, to, to do the lottery they go to go to, to do the gambling because of the love of the money and the bible says that escape from the love of the money because the love of the money is the root of all evil they go they want to get rich they want to get rich quickly they go they want to get to be a millionaire millionaire quickly they want to get rich to gain very quickly and so because of the love of the money that is uh, that that is dra uh, dragging them they will be dragged by by the love of the money to go to the crabs to bet to go to the crabs to to the gambling that is why betting is sin. The Bible says that the, for you know that the root, uh, the root, uh, the love of the money is the root of all evil. Those who bet, they they bet with the love of the money. They bet because they want to have the love of the money. That, and that is evil itself to have the love of the money, to have the love of the riches, because God is the one who bless, but not those things. Number two, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs thirteen eleven. The Bible says that this uh, that dishonest manes uh, swindles away. See, in the book of Proverbs 13, let us read in the book of Proverbs and see the truth. In the books of Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13. Proverbs 13. Uh, Proverbs 13, 11. The Bible says this. Dishonest, dishonest money dwindles away but he who gather man who he who gathers money retro by retro make it grow hallelujah that dishonest money dwindles away the money of gambling the money of betting the money of lottery those money they dwindles away but uh, the bible says but he who gathers small by small that that one will be blessed that one will grow hallelujah that the money that uh, that that Dishonest money, the money of gambling, the money of betting. That when you bet, you say that this one is betting because he want to, to he wants to, he want to win, and the other one is betting because he want to win. And through that process, that money is dishonest. That money is not life. That money is not pure because you have gambled. You are you have gambled about it, and you and the, and the other person have lost. The other person have lost, but you have taken his money or her money. That is gambling, and that is dishonest money that is not a worthy money that is not a blessing money because the one who have been won is going where he is going still complaining i have lost money i have lost uh, ten dollars i have lost uh, 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 ten thousand i have lost that money he is that money is not honest that is not a, a a money of truth that is why the bible says that this honest money dwindles away this this honest money it uh, Per, uh, uh, ends away or, or 
or finish away it dwindles away but the money that you gather small by small that is money that is blessed by god it is better you have one me uh, uh, it is better you have one shilling one dollar that is blessed than 10 dollars which is cast which are not worthy which are of dishonest it is better it is blessed that you have that one coin which is blessed by god than that 20 millions which are cast which are of gambling which are of dishonest money which are money of gambling which has money other of stealing other money of witches other money which are cast it is better you have that one shilling. It's better you have that ten shilling because that is the blessed money, and you will eat it very blessed. You will eat it and you will live than to have ten million and then die tomorrow without ten million and then minimize your life. It is better you have that one bob, that one shilling, that ten shilling. The, the money that is blessed, the money that you have worked it out because that is the blessed money and you shall eat that money for many years. Then to eat uh, 10 million for two years and then die. The money that are sacrificed by the devil. Those money for the gambling and betting, many of them, they are money that are sacrificed by the devil that when you take that money because of the love of the money you take that money you win those money of lottery you mean though you win those money of gambling you win those money of betting when you take that money then you lose your life you lose life you, you lose your life that is why the bible says what will you gain gaining the whole world gaining the whole lottery gaining the whole gambling uh, winning the betting what will you gain then at the end lose your your, your life in hell lose your head your life in the lake of the fire what will you gain you need to be wise because those money are cast the bible says that this honest money it dwindles away so betting and gam and gambling and all those rotary and all those things that one is not good in front of the eyes of God. That one is sin. That one is dishonest money. And dishonest money is, a, is money that you have not worked it out. It is money that you are not given. It is money that it is dishonest. Pr number three. Number three. Number three, the reason why gambling and betting is sin. The, the number three, it is Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28 20. The Bible says this in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 28, 8, 28, 28, 20. Hallelujah. 28, 20. The Bible says this. A faithful man will be literally blessed, but one who eager to get rich will go and punish. Hallelujah. That a faithful man will be literally blessed, but one who eager to get rich will go, will not go unpunished. Hallelujah. That those who eager to get rich quickly, those who eager to get rich quickly, they went to they, they want to, to bet, they want to win, they went, they want to get rich quickly, they will not go unpunished. They will be punished by those money. Those, ma those money will eat them. Those money will turn against you because that money is not blessed. But the Bible says a faithful man will be richly blessed, but one who eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Hallelujah. Be faithful and God will bless you. Be faithful, work, and God will bless you. He will bless you in his own way. But betting and grumbling, that is another thing. So, this is why a faithful man will be blessed, but one who eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Because those who eager to get rich, they are controlled by the wrath of the money, which is the root of, of, of all evil. So they will steal, so they will do anything which is evil to gain rich, anything which is evil to get money. And then they will not go unpunished. That is what God says. So faithful money. Faithful money, God will bless those who are faithful. Faithful money and other money which is not money which are blessed. That money is not blessed and that is a curse. It is better you have that, uh, that, that, uh, that one shilling which is faithful money than that 20 shilling or that 10 million which are not faithful money. Because you will not go unpunished. That is why the Bible says so. In the book of Rook, uh, another evidence is the greed of money. Those who bet, those who bet and doing betting, those who, who even uh, 
have those things and even they have thought they are people who have the greed of money greed of uh, being rich greed of going where greed of uh, of money of getting money in an easy way that money of getting in an easy way is a money that is a kind of, of a blessing that is uh, is a kind of a curse not a blessing the money that you uh, that you gain so fast that money is not a blessing it is a curse it is unfaithful money the man like for stealing, stealing for other people who had bet, stealing for other people who had done gambling, stealing for other people who have, uh, who have prayed in the rotary, praying for them. That is the truth of the thing. Dear brother and sister, do not be deceived. Those who are greedy, Jesus Christ warned us and he warned and he said that you must avoid all greed of everything. In the book of, of Rook, Rook 12.15, the Bible says this in the book of Rook 12.15, let us read in the book of 12, Luke 12.15, Luke 12.15, the Bible says this, see, that, then he said to them, watch out be on your guard against all kind of greed, a man's life does not consist in abundance of his possession, hallelujah, that watch out, watch out be on your guard against all kind of greed, all kind of greed, greed of money, greed of becoming a millionaire, greed of winning. Watch out that you may not become greed because a man's life is not, does not consist of a badass of possession. You may have a badass of possession and die today. A man's life does not consist of a badass of riches, a badass of millions. A man's life is in God's hand, trusting God, eating from God, seeking from God not seeking from betting and, uh, and lottery and those things and praying and praying and praying. Those things, those things, they have bounded the people of this generation, the Christian of this generation. Christian, you are not supposed to be there in gambling and betting. You are not supposed. That is a Christian who is greedy, greedy of money, greedy of millions, greedy to be rich, greedy. A Christian that is greedy and is not worthy to enter the kingdom of God. Jesus said, come out and Come out, be watch, and come out uh, and avoid every form of greediness. Greediness, those greediness, those are the things that have made the youth in this hour, that the youth, they cannot pray, the youth cannot seek God, they cannot trust God, they trust betting, they trust gambling, they start all those things and, uh, 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 and things like that, gambling and, uh, and betting and rotary things. They trust those things. Why? Because you are not trusting God. They don't work today, they are all there at gambling and betting and lottery. They want to beg to get rich. They are there all in the lotto, lotto games. Pray, seek God and work hard and God will bless you. Greedy, we're not all those form of greedy. God has said that he don't want us to have the greedy, the greediness of money. The greediness of going there to pray, uh, the exchanging like that, 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 because of that one is not fair. That one is not faithfulness. That one is not holy money. The another evidence, number other, another end evidence is this, is that in the book of Matthew 6, 24, the Bible says that no one can serve two God. You cannot serve both God and money. You cannot serve both God and money. You cannot trust God and then you are trusting a money. You cannot trust God and then you are trusting Rotary to give you money or betting to give you money. You cannot serve two God. It's either you are serving the one or, are, or not serving the other. You cannot serve those God. So you need to trust God and put your trust on God. Don't do those things because of your family. Don't do those things because of your family, of your children. Keep your hope in God. Trust to God, he'll provide. Trust to God, he'll provide. You don't need to go to those group and, uh, and say that you are keeping amount of money because of the time of disease, because of the time of death in your life. That is keeping death in your life. That is uh, preparing your own uh, casket, your own uh, grave. Uh, that's, uh, that is digging your own grave and saying, uh, when I die, uh, that is the pit that I will, uh, I, I, uh, I will, be, I will be buried. By spending and by t spending and uh, separating a money and saying that you are keeping a money for that time of dangerous time. Why? Don't you trust God? Trust God that that dangerous time will never even not come. And if it comes, God will provide for you. Do not store money for the time of evil, for the time of uh, tragedy, for the time of accident, for the time of death. 
Trust God and don't worship with the devil. You may be putting, uh, you may be making a covenant with the devil for the time of sacrifice, for the time of accident, for the time of diseases in your life. That is why you shall never act in your life uh, 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 diseases, death, because you have put a, a, a form of money for disease, a form of money for death, a form of money for accident and things like that for hospital. God wants us to trust him all. You cannot serve God and money. You cannot serve two God. Trust God. God provides and God uh, 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 preserves your life. God wants us to put our trust as Christian to God. Not to put our hope in, in companies, in games, in, uh, in those uh, groups. Hallelujah. Number five. The Bible says the reason gambling, betting, rotary, and lot of games are seen. The Bible says that in Exodus 20, 17, uh, in, ex, uh, in Exodus 20, 17, the Bible says that you shall not covert. You shall not covert. Do not covert. When you covert, you are now coverting. Those who grumble, those who bet, they are other who bet even their car. They bet even their the cow. They come and they start betting. They covert the other car. They covert the, your money. They covert that covert. Do not covert. Betting is coverting. A gambling is coverting. All those things is coverting. It is coverting their other man riches. Those money are not for the company. Those money are, are for other people. You are now coverting money for other people that you may be you may win a million. But those money are not for company. Those money are for other people who have played that game. God says, even when you read in the book of First Corinthians chapter six ten, the Bible says that all the thief, all the all who all those who call all the covertious, or the people who covert, those people will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you convert, it is like converting. The way you convert, you convert a wife, another man's wife, you convert another man's donkey, you convert man, you convert donkey, you convert a man, you convert a good the material. That conversion, that thing, that love of coverting other man, that one, you shall not enter the kingdom of God. All those who covert, they are greedy of other people. They are greedy of money. They are greedy of those things. They are read by the, by the love of the money in their life. And that love of the money, that one is seen. Number six, the last one. The Bible says, in the book of Philippians 4, Eight, six, you see what God says that do not be afraid of your tomorrow, do not be afraid even of your worries. What does the Bible say? And this is what God is saying that we need to understand and to go back to the scripture, to go back to the word of God and see that you don't live by the betting, we don't live by the gambling. Those people are there, they, they were not living by gambling. Jesus was not living by gambling, he was not living by, by betting, he was not living by a lot of power, whoever. All those saints, you are not living. Why are you living by those hope? Why are you so much in the love of the world? That love of the world is evil. In the book of Philippians 4, 4, 4 6, and see what God is saying for your life, dear brother. 6, the Bible says this, 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything. Do not be anxious about anything, but everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God and uh, and uh, to God and the peace of, uh, see, that do not be anxious, do not be afraid, don't have those cares, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Hallelujah. We are told to present our request to God, not our request to betting, not our request to gambling, not our request to the lot of money or lot of games. We are not told, we are told to, 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 to um, our request, let them to be known to God. So, as a Christian, you should not be found in those betting and gambling. Why? Because we are told by everything in prayers, pray everything as you, you shall be given. Jesus said that if you need anything, pray in the name of our Jesus Christ and you shall receive it for free. You shall receive it. God will bless you. God will increase you. But if you go there, you will be blessed. You, you will win those money, but you cannot see the kingdom of God. Why? Why? What is that? What, 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 what do you gain by gaining the whole money? What do you gain by gaining the whole world and then you lose your life in hell? At the end, you lose your life. What do you lose? You lose nothing.
Therefore, the Bible says that in everything, by prayer and meditation, God commands us to pray, to pray every time, and we shall be given. So if you want to trust God, pray. All your requests, let them be known to God, not to men. That is why God wants us to be holy, to be righteous, to come out from those gambling and betting, to come out from those money, because those unfaithful money, those money that come very fast, the fast money, those money that come, because those who gain their money very fast, very fast, those money, they are not coming with a blessing, but coming with a curse. The quick money has no blessing, but that slow money will have the blessing of God, that money that you have worked with it. Therefore, come on from the love of the money, because the Bible says in the book of 1 John 5, the Bible says where, that uh, 2.15, the Bible says where, that Avoid, uh, avoid the love of the world because those who have, those who love the world, those who uh, have the love of the world, they cannot please God. Because everything that is in the, love, in the world, it is the desires of the body, the desires of the eyes, the money, and everything else, and the pride of life. And those things does not come from the Father, but come from the evil one. Therefore, avoid the things of the world and being afraid of the world. The love of the world, the love of the riches, the love of the money. And that is what have now even corrupted the church that they are preaching the money, they are preaching the money, they are preaching, preaching, and even it's like there is now gambling and betting in the church because they are preaching about the financial, the financial each and every day. Why? Because of the love of the money that has come even to so-called pastors and preachers. The love of the money, the greediness to get rich, the greediness to the, of the materialistic of this world has made them to preach those gospel. Therefore, God is saying, come out from the gambling and betting if you want to seek the kingdom of God. Gambling is sin, and he said that all the, do not covert that the greed of money, you shall not enter the kingdom of God. The love of the money, shall, you shall not enter the kingdom of God. The, 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 uh, uh, the, the, the money, the dishonest money, you cannot enter the kingdom of God with a dishonest money. You cannot do. So you better escape from all those plans because those are the plans of the devil. The devil knows the truth and the devil has made a trap. And this trap is called gambling and betting and roto and roto games. Those those uh, those are the trap of the devil that are making many people to enter hell this day. Christian to enter hell because they are, they are they are entering to the sacrifice with the devil. The money of the devil, they are entering the sacrifice and worshipping the devil through the money. Worshipping the Illuminati through money. Worshipping the devil through uh, uh, the betting and gambling and those rotten games. You must avoid them at all costs if you are a brother or sister who want to enter the kingdom of God. Trust Jesus Christ who will provide. Trust God who will provide and wait God to provide you to bless you. And if you don't uh, uh, drive a car, it is where you go and enter the kingdom of God. If you drive it, it is where, but you go and enter the kingdom of God. Focus in the kingdom of God and avoid the wrath of the money and the Lord will bless you. May God bless you and may those who have spiritual ears, may they hear what God is saying. For this teaching is only for those who do not have the love of the money, those who have the love of the word, the love of God in them, will hear and will receive this, this teaching. May God bless you. May you hear and may you prepare for the kingdom of God. Because Jesus Christ is coming. God says that seek first the kingdom of God and all other things will be added unto you. God knows before you ask. God knows before you pray. So seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness. Seek holiness. Seek righteousness and stay the way God wants you to stay. In holiness, in righteousness. And God will bless you. Shalom.